Hollywood stars who are rich and famous and still miserable. Most Hollywood stars had took a drug overdose because they didn't have the Holy Ghost. Need the Holy Ghost and not get no drug overdose. A drug overdose will send you to hell. The devil will tell you, well, you know, you've been depressed, so take a drug overdose. They ain't going to help you. Jesus can help you. But you got to repent. And say, Lord, I surrender. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, huh? in the name of Jesus Christ, huh? for the emissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That be wonderful, so you can make it to heaven to be with Jesus. Because tomorrow is not promised to you or me. Tomorrow ain't promised to you or me. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you or me. We can die today. If you die without Jesus, you go to hell. Don't go there. Don't go to hell. But if you live in sin and still be the homosexuals, homosexuals and lesbians ain't going to heaven. Two homosexuals can't make a baby. Two lesbians can't produce a baby. God ordained for a man and a woman to be fruitful and multiply and make a baby. Two homosexuals cannot do that. I don't care what Obama say. He just passed a bill to get votes. It didn't mean God voted for the gay right when the Bible said it's not right. The Bible says a way that seems is right to a man, but the end of love are the ways of death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's easy to say God is good all the time. But how about being good to God? Oh, it's easy to get up here and say Jesus loves you. Well, how about loving Jesus? I already know Jesus loved me. How about loving him back? And not be on crack. Praise the Lord. When you love Christ, he'll deliver you from crack and cocaine. When you're getting God's domain, you don't need no overdose. Just get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. People would just tell you, oh, God is love. Yes, he loved. But a lot of things God don't love. He doesn't love all this racism. God don't love that. He doesn't love all the evil going on in the world. God don't love that. He don't love all this murder and all this evil folks stabbing each other. Murderers are going to hell. Child molesters are going there. God doesn't love it. what child molesters are doing to little children, kidnapping kids. God doesn't like that. Praise the Lord. If you say, Lord, forgive me, Lord, for my sins. Lord, forgive me, Lord, for being wicked. The Bible said if the wicked will turn from their wicked ways, God will have mercy. The same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah could have had them faggots up in Sodom and Gomorrah. Men gone with men. God didn't like it. God didn't ordain two men to be fruitful and multiply. He ordained for a man and a woman to be fruitful and multiply. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Not Eve and Eva. Some of you might have got molested. God can heal you. Your lesbian lover cannot love you like Jesus. God can love you better than your lesbian lover. God can love you better than your gay lover. I'm not talking about lust. I'm talking about God's unconditional love. I'm not talking about lust. Lust is a sin. We got these half-naked women coming to church every Sunday with their breasts out. You don't got to dress seductive to get a man. Let a man love you for yourself. When God give you a husband, he'll give you a man that will love the inner beauty. He'll know how to love Jesus first. Praise the Lord. It takes more than just going to church. The devil goes to church. Hypocrites go to church every Sunday morning. But then after they leave the church, they're still smoking and drinking and, and cussing and lying and committing adultery and still partying in the clubs. It takes more than just going to church. We have to live holy after we leave the church. Praise the Lord. Take off them fake uh, fingernail polishes and long fingernails. Looking like cat woman. And them long fake eyelashes and all that eyeliner around your eye. And them splits. And them mini skirts. How you a Christian and still storing your breasts all in the church. And make it hard for the, the man to even concentrate on the preacher. Because they got these half naked women sitting up in the church talking about they're a Christian. You got to dress holy. Not just live holy, but God would teach you what to wear and not what to wear. You're already beautiful. You don't got to dress seductive. A lot of pastors won't tell the truth. All he wants is money. 
Cause he know he tell the truth. Folk will stop giving money. Cause he gets talking about harvest time. How about the holy time? And Jake Martin gets preaching harvest. Harvest ain't gonna get us into heaven. But living holy will get us into heaven. And Jake Martin gets preaching harvest time. And they're getting rich off your pocketbook. They don't care about your soul. All they want is money. Come on, you know I'm telling the truth. Money. They get money. Give me a thousand dollars and you're going to get rich. No, you're making him rich while you're getting poor. Come on. You ever watch some of you fake churches? Are they playing the rob of God in church? I take God seriously. I ain't no playboy. I love my wife. I ain't no playboy preacher. Are they having affairs with every girl he prayed for? The pastor going to hell too if you don't repent. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. God wants holy living. The Bible said, follow peace with all men for holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 14. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.